Hey, I'm Cassius Chaos. Of course you know that because I'm a big deal and I deserve a WWE contract, apparently. I'm expecting John Laurinaitis to call me on the phone at any minute right now. No, the sad truth is, is I'm what is known as a yard tart. And what that means is that I won't make it anywhere and I will amount to absolutely nothing. Much like Mick Foley, CM Punk, Matt Jeff Hardy, Steve Carino, Gregory Helms, Shannon Moore, uh, I can name a few Brian Danielson, that's a big name, and many, many more. Now, I, what I really admire about you, Frankie, is that you have no idea of the obvious. You are oblivious to the world around you. You sat there with a camera held in hand talking about how grown men and young adults don't belong in playgrounds. And you said this as you walked through a child's playground and sat on a swing. So once again, well done, Frankie. Good point. I agree. Also, you talk all the time about being a professional. Is that the way a professional would act? You know, I, I, I don't think I'd see Stone Cold Steve Austin or, you know, Hollywood Hulk Hogan grab a camera and start talking about how much they hate a backyard wrestling fan. I mean, if we're as so low time and low class as you say, why address us, Frankie? That's giving us pl publicity. You won't want that. We're backyard. We're trash, remember? So, Frankie, um, you know what? A after seeing the way you acted as a professional, I'm inclined to believe that now I understand your method of success. That's right. What am I saying here? I'm saying I'm going to shave my head bald, grow a stupid beard, put these glasses on, and hold my camera up like this shake it a little and talk about how much I hate everything because God gave me a tiny penis. Here you go. Amongst that, I've been told a couple weeks ago that I'm not funny. That... That I can't sell tickets. That I'm not worth DVD time. I mean, I can't blame them. I mean... I'm not prematurely bald, and I didn't base the entire gimmick based off a t-shirt, so... I mean... You know what, though? I'm a yard tart, which automatically means everything I do is bad, which means I can't cut a promo, which means I can't bury somebody, I can't wrestle correctly, I can't talk being a charismatic showman, I can't do any of this, but yet I am. See this? This is me. This is Cassie's Chaos. I'm 18 years old. That's right. I'm 18. How old are you? Okay. I'm 18 years old, and I can talk the way I can. I have the ability to when I, t I have the ability to make everyone watch me, whether I'm good, whether I'm bad, whether they love me, whether they hate me. They'll all tune in to hear me. Every person who has heard me speak has listened. Much unlike yourself, which I'm sure after hearing that video as you droned on. And ah. Uh, and ah. Uh, 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 and on. No one was listening. None of your subscribers were listening. None of the WMF was listening. None of the backyard community was listening. No one was listening. Now I've done this video several times already because I pulled the Frankie and I drove on and on and on. So let me do this the last time. Frankie, you're not funny. You're not intelligent. You're a hypocrite and I understand where you're coming from. Like I said, I am a realist and I am right in between the line there. And I understand that there's two sides to every story. Warriors hate backyarders because backyarders supposedly make the whole industry look bad. I think WWE, the biggest industry, the biggest company in the industry that there is, is doing a good enough job personally, but that's just me. So warriors don't like backyarders. Not to screw anybody over here, but warriors doesn't know that they have a bunch of backyarders in their fed and they have no idea who it is. 
That's first off. Secondly, let me be the one to say this. Secondly, backyarders don't like any feds telling them they can't wrestle just because they're in a backyard or a playground or wherever the hell they are that isn't a ring. I understand that. So, so Frank, I understand why you are the way you are. I understand exactly why you shoved that marker up your ass, and I understand exactly why you decided to steal your kid's sister's camera, walk outside, because everyone knows you're homeless, walk outside, walk around a little bit, and then tell everyone how much you hit backyard. I understand. There's a reason for it. There is obviously a reason for it. And that's because when you were 12 or 8 or whatever age you were, you met a clown. That's right, you met Bobo the Clown, and you know what Bobo the Clown told you? He said if you hopped into the van, he'd make you any balloon you wanted. And you know what? I know what you wanted. You wanted what God never gave you. A wiener. Yes, you wanted a little wiener doll. And that clown, he didn't give you the wiener doll. Oh, no, no, he gave you a wiener all right, it wasn't a dog, but no, no. And that's why you are the way you are. That's why you shove markers up your ass. That's why you're so pissed off at everyone. And that's why you shove alcohol-infested tampons up your ass to get yourself drunk. Oh, yeah, Frankie. I dug up the dirt sheet. And I'm here to spread it all around, much like you spread your legs for clouds. That's right, Frankie boy. I'm here telling you, you want that interview? Well, what are you waiting for? I'll give you an interview. I have time to talk to my beloved fans, those pe those non-people who do not shave their heads and grow stupid beards. Oh yes, 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 yes. So as I write you out this reality check because you're homeless, as I stated before, let me be the one to tell you this. Just because somebody doesn't wrestle in a ring, just because somebody doesn't bounce off ropes or fall on mats, that doesn't mean they're a bad wrestler. See, because... Let's talk about one of the greats. Let's talk about someone everyone likes, CM Punk. Now, if CM Punk was to walk into a backyard, was to walk into a playground, he would be met with the same standard that backyard wrestlers would be met with. Why? Because he wrestling in the backyard. Warriors, if you think I'm so bad. No, no, not Warriors. I like Warriors, as a matter of fact. I've talked to some of their guys. They're actually intelligent guys. Frankie! I've been on the Warriors radio show. We've shared some laughs, as I'm sure everyone else has, from hearing stories about you. And you know what? You talk about how badly untrained backyard wrestlers are. We try and train our guys. The guys who can't be trained now work at Warriors and serve coffee and do the music there. And I can guarantee you, he's almost as bad as the guy doing laugh tracks here, okay? I hear him. Frankie? You want an interview? Call me up. Message me on Facebook. You know, send a pigeon to come get me. I will be there. Whatever time, whatever place you want an interview, I'll give you one. Back just because somebody runs, and wrestles, and does everything that they do in a playground or a backyard, that doesn't make them not entertaining. Same way, just because you wrestle in a ring, it doesn't make you entertaining. Like I said, no one listens to you. No one cares about what you have to say. People will listen when I talk, because I'm just that damn charismatic. So Frankie, I was going to wait till Impulse to say this. But this is what I have to say. And I will close with this. I'm sorry about the clown. I'm sorry that you enjoy things sho shoved up your ass. Um, I'm sorry that you cannot grow a better beard. I'm sorry about you not having hair, but I'm not sorry for wrestling. So Frankie, now that all's been said, I hope you feel better about yourself, because I know I certainly feel a lot better about myself after hearing about you. So everyone who enjoyed their video, enjoyed what Frankie had to say, I'm glad he has supporters, because I have a lot more. Frankie, anyone else who wants beef, anyone else got problems with backyard wrestlers, I'm right here. Oh, and by the way, I need training. I need training. Uh, as of next week or the week after, I'm going to be training at the Warriors Wrestling Facility, the warehouse, and I'm going to be trained by the company that trained you. Wow. Now you really just seem like a great big jackass. Now return your sister's camera right now and stop doing crack, all right? 
You have a good one, buddy, and I hope, I hope, I sincerely hope and pray that you can afford a mortgage soon. So that way you can stay at home, stay in your little house, not make crappy videos anymore, and not interrupt everyone. Now, as you'll, now as you'll see, I've been dragging this on, and I'm gonna stop that because if I keep going on, I'm gonna wear these stupid glasses, grow a beard, get bald, and call myself Frankie Love. So this is Frank. This is Cassie's Chaos, the real deal, the real effing deal, the Archangel, the Dropkick King, the Anarchy King, the face of Backyard Wrestling. The one man rock band. Yeah, I'm that important, I have that many damn nicknames. Saying, stay classy. <laughs>